Hi, my name is Jamie Collins, and today we're at my home gym, The Lion's Den. I wrote an article on posing some do's and don'ts. Now, I know some people are more visual learners and some people are more audio learners. In general, most people, uh, the way they learn is by visual. So today, I'm actually going to show some posing tips and tricks and some things to avoid when you're on stage for the bikini division. Alright, so we're just going to get right into it. So one of the poses that's mandatory, and more often than not, the judge is actually going to call you and say, Ladies, I can't see your numbers. I need you to face the judges. So when they're saying that, they're asking you to do a front pose. So now the front pose over the years has evolved. The standard front pose when the bikini division first came out was your feet were basically shoulder width apart and depending if you like to rock to the left hip or right hip would determine. So because I like to have more of my right side, I would have rocked to my left hip, having more right arm down. Only problem is this is someone like me, I'm a little bit thick waist. And by having your feet shoulder width apart and parallel with each other, I wasn't able to turn so much. So the bikini vision actually evolved now. If you're for someone like me who's right side dominant, has a little bit wide waist, that can't get away from this literally front stance, I can actually stagger my steps now. So my front foot would actually take a step forward. This one's gonna angle out slightly. And by doing this one, I can rock my hips back more. Only thing is if I do that, I'm losing shoulders. However, I'm at this point now, I'm bringing my shoulders back to the judges. So I have the illusion of a smaller waist and my, uh, uh, my wider base up top. So it's giving that X factor. So this would be like the new pose where this would have been the old pose. So if you're struggling on a pose because your waist is maybe a little bit thick, try staggering your steps. One thing to be conscious of is not staggering too close where it's almost like a skateboard stance because on stage, we're only really seeing one waist and we're trying to get that X factor. So widen that base just a little bit and stagger it. Another thing that you can do that I've had to implement because my waist is a little bit thick is taking a deep breath. So I'll do this a couple of angles and kind of show the difference. So one, if I'm standing here, just standing normally and I take a deep breath, see how much longer my waist got, got a little bit narrow, got a little more longer. The only thing is my shoulders didn't come up, I took a deep breath, so I'll do it from the side. So I'm here, just normal, just taking a deep breath. Raising that chest up will give also the illusion of a longer and narrow waist. All right, so for the next pose, what's become really popular is different variations of a side pose. So the most standard side pose is just simply a side pose from here. So on this one, one thing to watch and be careful of is you're not rotating your hips to this way. Because I rotate my hips this way, sure, my shoulders look wide, but so does my waist. So one thing you want to do is make sure your hips are pointing exactly along with your feet in a straight line. You're taking that deep breath, and then you're gonna rotate from your sternum kind of over. So it'll give that illusion of a small waist, wide shoulders, wide base. Once again, you're having that X frame. So the, how the pose looks at this way, so you want your feet on the same plane field. So you want your feet two spaced apart, so you have to realize the judges, they're not just looking at you from one angle, look at from sight on. And if you have this big space, it's not real pretty, not real feminine. So make sure you close that gap a little bit, have the feet on the same plane field, and make sure your feet are not too straight, otherwise you're gonna wobble. So by having one foot turned out, it's gonna widen that base, give it a little more secure base, so you're not wobbling on stage. So go back to this one. So feet on the same plane field. I'm gonna keep my hips straight forward, and I'm gonna load that back glute. So you probably want about 80% weight. This foot here, I'm not bearing a lot of weight, but it's gonna be almost a like kickstand leg. It's gonna balance me just a little bit. The majority of my weight, I want that back glute, because the more weight I have back there, the more round, the more full it's gonna look. So same thing, deep breath, and angle towards the judges. Now you can have two arms down, you can have one up, you staggered, what works for you. If you have a posing coach or have someone take a picture of you and video and see what looks the most flattering on your body. Another side pose that people can do is kind of like a model stance. So girls are simply kind of doing like same one, one foot, it's kind of going straight ahead, one foot's going to come to your side. A couple of variations on this one, you can have it where both feet are pointing the same direction, the toe of your foot's going to come, right, the ball, sorry, ball of your foot's going to come to the middle of your foot, everything's going to stay straight, same thing with the side pose. You want to keep your hips pointing one direction and bring your upper, your shoulders towards the judges. Same thing, 
nice and deep breath. Now if you're noticing on this one, if you're wobbling a little bit, you can widen your base just a little bit by turning your toe and knee slightly out. So this will be from this one, so either you can have it completely straight, if you're noticing you're wobbling, just turn that toe and knee out a little bit and make sure once again that the base is not too wide and judges can see space there. Just keep everything tight and this way. So it's two different variations for a side pose. All right, so something I see happen a lot and it's something I also have to be mindful of is stacking. So people are like, what is stacking? So the stacking is when you're either you're leaning too much into a pose. So this can happen in a side pose. It can also happen when you're turning around to face the curd. So a stacking is for instance, say to say, ladies, please turn around and face the curd. A lot of times what happens, girls will do this and they stack. So you always see all these wrinkles right here. A lot of people think they look like fat rolls. Well, actually not, they're just actually skin rolls. It doesn't matter how lean you are, they're gonna be there no matter what. So to, in order to eliminate that, same thing. Take a deep breath and eliminate that. Another thing is if that's not helping and you need kind of a, a cheat assistance, you can kind of use this hand and push up off there. Just be careful when you're pushing off, you're not pushing off too high, and then you lose your neck. Another thing you can also do to kind of eliminate that, if those two instances don't work, you can kind of bring your arm up. Just be careful that you're not flexing that bicep and shoulder. It's going to be too prominent bikini. So you can either turn, take a deep breath, use a hand to push up, and or kind of bring that shoulder up. Same thing on the side poses. You gotta be careful that you're not leaning back too far and also not taking a deep breath. Because if I'm just sitting here normal, you're gonna see some of that snack in there compared to I take a deep breath and that skin is tightened up. Everything looks tighter. It's more of a appealing overall aesthetic look. So another thing that I see happen a lot, either at amateur level, national level, as well as pro level, is not acknowledging the judges enough or acknowledging but not really smiling. So I'll show you a couple instances of this. So when you're walking on stage, don't just walk on stage, get to the center, and then present. You need to present from the time you walk on stage to the time you get to the center. So from one instance, you're not looking at the judge, to the instance, you want to be slightly bladed toward So the same thing as the side pose. You want your hips straight, your upper body slightly aimed to the judges. And as you're walking on, smiling, looking at the judges the whole time. So you're engaging with them, smiling with them, and connecting with them. Now some people, they'll look at the, as they're walking, they're looking at the judges, but they're kind of mean back at them. So you'll be warm, you'll be welcoming, because if I walk up to you and I'm you know, me mugging you and I'm kind of giving that cold look, it's not really warm, it's not really welcoming. So be conscious of you know, your facial expressions. You can kind of, what they call it, smize, you can kind of you know, smile with your eyes. You don't have to show teeth the whole time. You need to be warm, you need to be welcoming. So just remember from the time you walk on the stage, to also when you're exi exiting the stage. So just be like, you know, ladies, thanks, we'll see you at the night show. You wave and basically, okay, bye, and you just walk off. You lost that connection with them. So make sure for also beginning to end, connect with the judges, you know, so not just the head judge, the whole panel judges. You may be aware from, you know, five judges to nine judges. As you walk in, make eye contact with each and every person to when you leave, make eye contact with all the judges as you walk off the stage. All right, so another one of my pointers is breathing. Um, really huge. So everyone tends to get a little bit nervous on stage, which is completely natural. One thing you can be mindful of is breathing through your diaphragm. Don't breathe through your belly. Because you're breathing through your belly, your belly is expanding. And even if you are lean and things are still tight, you're still seeing that belly come in and out and you make it knock down points. So it's learning to breathe through your diaphragm. You have the conscious maybe they can breathe in, breathe out, short and shallow breaths making sure you're keeping that ab discipline the whole time. Don't let that belly come out. Nice short breaths through your diaphragm. Another thing also be kind of love is when you're facing the back curtain. So if I turn around, you don't see anything. So if you're one of the first few judges on the panel, you're not gonna see it. You have to realize the panel goes out a lot farther than just which straight back. So, you know, there may be a judge straight here. You gotta realize there may be a judge here. And they're seeing your tummy going in and out from the back, you can also get docked down. So you have to appeal to all the judges at all angles. So just because you're turning around doesn't mean they can't see your stomach from the back. So be conscious of that. Nice, short, shallow breaths. Another thing is, so if you're also when you turn around, you're facing the judges, blow out some air. Just by blowing out air alone can tighten your core. 
but when you're blowing out air, to get the air out faster is better than longer. So when you're blowing out air, um, I would call it blowing out birthday candles. Don't go. It takes way too lot long for that air to get out. Smile and breathe out your teeth. So it's more so. You can smile that way and the air gets out faster. The quicker that air can get out, the tighter your abdos can be. So remember, be conscious of breathing, breathing through your diaphragm, be conscious of when you're facing the curtain that the judges from the corners don't see your belly, and get that air out by almost imagine like you're warming your hands, go and not blowing out for the candles. All right, so some of the things we've covered, we've covered breathing, we've covered some stacking, we've shown you kind of how to lengthen your rib cage, whether if your waist is 20 inches or 30 inches, it can always be smaller, which will help that X frame. We worked on different kind of side poses. We worked on acknowledging the judges. And the last thing I would say for a tip is when you're posing, pose long enough that someone can take a picture. So you've put in all this hard work, don't just hit a front pose, hit a side pose. You gotta realize that the judges are not having the time to judge you fairly, they can evaluate, so hold that pose long enough, that will say, one, one, thousand, two. Then transition, one, one, thousand, two. Then transition. So you gotta hold these poses long enough that someone can take a picture and that you're not rushing through it. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you got some little tips and tricks out of this for this basic bikini, one-on-one posing.